G'day there. Just because times are tight, unusual, unheard of, worrying, pick a word, doesn't mean we have to lose our minds. The Finance Minister is reported to be considering a universal income. Now, in a different time, like about two months ago, this would have been laughed out of the room. Universal incomes don't work. They've been proven not to work. Finland did one. It flopped. This was only in December of last year. A universal basic income is a socialist's dream, of course. It's about control by the state. It's about everyone being reliant on the government. There are a million articles about Finland or any of the others that have given it a crack. It's a failed idea. It was money wasted. It led to no real incentive to work. All the things you'd expect to happen if you applied a logical brain. Now, up to this point, I had assumed we wouldn't be so stupid. I might, sadly, if reports are correct, be wrong. There is talk in Britain and the United States, for example, of something universal as well. That in itself is worry enough. To state the obvious, or for fans of free money to give you a lesson in why it's flawed, follow this simple logic. Firstly, not everyone needs money. Given the situation we're in, whatever the government offers needs to be one, efficient, and two, targeted, right? Targeted in two ways. One, to those who need it, and two, to have it spent in areas that need it most, which is why I was astounded they didn't look at some sort of voucher system, vouchers for specific areas of the economy that most need it and are most useful. If you give a person free money, if they need it, even if they need it, do they spend it wisely? Do they spend it in areas that would most benefit the economy? You have no control over that, therefore there is waste. If you give uh, money to people who don't need it, that's automatic waste, given it fails to target someone in genuine need. And given they didn't need it, it could logically be argued then that it doesn't get spent at all remotely in a useful way, if spent at all. What if they put it, I don't know, in savings, or pay their mortgage, or buy shares with it? Is that a sensible use of taxpayers' money? And yet again, need we remind ourselves these days it is taxpayers' debt. Does the economy in general need money? Well, yes, it does, but target it. Don't, in these most of unusual days, lose your mind and forget basic economic principles.